We're back! Episode 4, My Blue Thoughts! And we're, we're in a different place today because I moved, so I gotta make, I gotta make, I'm gonna make shift studio around. But I wanna start off today's vlog cast talking about Andre fucking Ethier, dude. Andre Ethier hit two home runs today. Andre Ethier, the one that's been rumored to be traded so many times in the last few years. Andre Ethier, who's done nothing but be a professional since day one that he put on the Dodger uniform. Uh, a couple days ago, Andre Ethier, they were playing the A's. He hit a line drive that should have been a double, maybe, that defense was playing him pretty well. And it, there's a great play the first baseman made. And he came back to the dugout, and he was fucking pissed. Slamming the bat on the fucking dugout. Slamming his bat, slamming his helmet. That's the kind of stuff I want to see. Because what happens? It shows that he cares. It shows that he cares about winning. The Dodgers, we, they, we need 25 guys that care about winning. We got a management team and a front office that cares about winning. I want these players to care about winning. And I think most of them do. Andre Ethier hits a walk-off fucking home run today in the bottom of the 10th inning against the Angels. Are you kidding me? A walk-off? You know how many times Andre Ethier's hit a walk-off home run? Seven walk-off home runs Andre Ethier has. That's fucking clutch. And with, amongst all these trade rumors, he's been a professional since day one. In 2013, when Matt Camp got hurt, who volunteers to play center field? Andre Ethier. Last year, when we had too many outfielders playing well, who volunteers, or maybe not volunteer, but who took a seat to the bench? Andre Ethier. Who asked for a trade before the season started because he wanted to play every day? Andre Ethier. Yeah, he wanted to play every day because he wants to win. He's a player. Give me 25 guys like Andre Ethier any day. Dodgers sweep the fucking Angels this weekend. Sweep the Angels this weekend. One more time. The Dodgers sweep the Angels this weekend. Oh my goodness. The Dodgers are 15 games over 500 right now, which is three games more than they were over 500 at the start of the week. Um, they're, they're two and a half games up in front of the Giants now, which is good because we ended up last weekend one and a half games up in front of the Giants. You know, we split the A's, we split the A's series one and one, and we just swept the Angels. Playing against the Angels is that that's a playoff team. And that's, this is the first time the Dodgers have really shown some, I don't want to say dominance over a playoff team, but they swept them. They beat them with good pitching and timely hitting. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take a series sweep any day. The first two games of the series showed us nothing that we didn't know already. Clayton Kershaw and Zach Greinke are the best fucking pitchers in baseball. One and two, you can swip swap them, say whoever's you know who's better, who's not, but they're one and two. They're one A and one B. Clayton Kershaw and Zach Greinke. I will put them against any one two in the major leagues in a playoff series in any series. If those guys are on the mound, the Dodgers have a pretty damn good chance of winning. Clayton Kershaw, uh, remember when he wasn't having a good year? His ERA is like 2.5 now. He's got 37 consecutive scoreless innings. He didn't dick anyone that wanted to talk about Clayton Kershaw. He's still, I think, the best pitcher on the planet. Trade deadline. Let's talk about the trade deadline. Dodgers, they're going to get Cole Hamels. They're going to get David Price. I was saying it. I was calling for it. And then who do they go get? They go get Matt Latos. They go get uh, Alex Wood from the Braves. They go get Avalon. They go get Jim Johnson. They get Michael Morris and say, oh, sorry, we don't actually really need you, so peace out. And they put together a stockpile of arms. We've got six starters now. Who's going to be the starting five? It's, gonna, it's looking like it's going to be Craig, Granky Kershaw, of course, Matt Latos, Wood, and then Brett Anderson will slide into that fifth slot. I like Brett Anderson in that fifth slot. Brett Anderson has given us far more quality innings than all the other uh, four and five starters the Dodgers have used this year. Better than Bolsinger, than uh, Carlos Frias, you know, all those guys that have, they're not, they're not number four or five starters, but the Dodgers had to use them because that's all they had. They brought, exact, they brought up Zach Lee for a minute, they gave him a shot. You know, whether it be nerves or whatever, he didn't do well, but now they solidified that rotation. They didn't give up their farm system to go get Cole Hamels or David Price. And you know what? I'm fine with that because you know what? We don't need a number one starter. Other teams need a number one starter. Dodgers have two number one starters. We don't need to, to, to sacrifice the future like we used to do in the past. We have a future. We have a now and we have a future. I'm very happy with what the front office did. I'm very happy the Dodgers held their own against the Angels because I was not worried, but the Dodgers 
flat out have not played well against the top tier teams in the league, against the top pitching in the league. So to see them sweep the Angels with the way they battled today, Andre Ethier hits a go-ahead home run in the eighth inning, and he's excited. He's pumping his fist. He's excited. Yeah, he just gave his team the lead. Dodgers bullpen gives up a run in the ninth inning. Hey, we're going extra innings after that. What happens? They hold them in the tenth inning. Ether comes up. Hey, you know what? I hear another walk-off home run. <laughs> like, it's all he does is hit walk-off home runs. You know how hard it is to hit a home run in the major leagues, period, let alone seven walk-offs? That's fucking clutch. Andre Ethier, thank you for being a professional. Dodger fans, real Dodger fans, appreciate everything you do, how you've been selfless since, like I said, day one. And we, I wish everybody had your desire to win and your des desire to perform well for your team and do whatever it takes to help your team win because so many people nowadays don't do that. Um, I'm, I'm a little excited to see Alex Carrero get some more playing time this week. He hit a home run against the Angels on Friday. The Dodgers have so much depth. You know, they don't have these superstars. They didn't go out and get all these superstars. But they have a team. You know, one day, you know, Howie Kendrick hit another home run today. Howie Kendrick's got like nine home runs. And he's just doing the job in his defense up the middle. Howie Kendrick is making so many good plays. You think Hayden Kershaw and Zach Greinke don't appreciate the plays that Callie Kendrick made for them up the middle on a daily basis, the, the difficult plays that he makes routine. That guy is such a good second baseman, defensively, fundamentally sound. He does, He's not flashy, but he makes all the plays look easy, and it's made a huge difference in the Dodgers' defense. Jimmy Rollins, his offense sucks, but you know what? He's playing great defense. The Dodgers organization, I don't think, feels Corey Seager is ready yet. And you know what? Jimmy Rollins is the kind of guy that's going to come up in October after he was 0 for 10 and hit like a game-winning three-run home run against somebody. I'm totally fine with that. I'm happy with where the Dodgers are right now. They had a great week. They're playing team baseball. Matt Latos in his Dodger debut, six scoreless innings. I'd like to see you go seven or eight, get deeper, maybe give that bullpen a rest, but there's an off day tomorrow, so I'm not even worried about it. He pitched six scoreless innings. That means he didn't allow any runs for six innings for our number three starter. That's not bad. I'm very excited to see what Wood does on Tuesday against the Phillies. Maybe the Dodgers can go in there, at least take two out of three, maybe not sweep the Phillies, and let's get a good cushion before we play the Giants at the end of the month. I'm very excited. Dodgers are two and a half games up. Let's keep it rolling blue. My blue thoughts. Go Dodgers.